Sei un auditore! Word around the city is you're leaving us. It's nothing I do a secret. <laughs> Not to worry, brother. The captain of your ship is a friend. But neither of you are going anywhere just yet. The Janissaries have raised the chain across the mouth of the Halic and ordered a full blockade until you are caught. They raised the chain for me. We will celebrate later. Uh, here, I have something for you. Careful. This has 50 times the kick of our usual bombs. Bene, I know what to do. The suspense is palpable. Yusuf, wait. Un favore. Yes? There is a woman running a bookshop at the old Polo trading post. Sophia. Look out for her. She is a remarkable lady. You have my word. Gather your men. This will attract some attention. Hello. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Revelations. And to keep with the theme of using a bomb I barely use, the cherry bomb previously, I'm going to use a new bomb. This is the stink bomb. It does that thing. I thought this was a patrol, but uh, it isn't. So me falling into this haystack is a little silly. But uh, here's its use. Now watch how effective the stink bomb is, even though that guy's watching me. He just let me pass. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Of course, that guy was far too away. Way too far away for the uh, that guy to get caught in it, too. So. We're now in combat, so I just decided to blow my last stink bomb anyway. Just because it's fun as hell. Uh, this is the last part in this session. If I haven't mentioned it already, or if we all forgot, I'm pretty sure we all have. No worries, it's easy to forget things. Uh, the number, and then the dash, the num the first number is actually the session, so this is session 5. There's no way of truly instancing off sections of revelations, like, uh, how other people can, like, it's 14-2, 14-3, now this is 15-1, no, you pretty much have to section it off like I have, so, anyways, uh, next session I... I'll try to remember to use the blood bombs, because they're great, so. The only thing that is really noteworthy about this mission is that this was used as the, correct me if I'm wrong, the E3 demo gameplay. This is the first gameplay we actually saw of Assassin's Creed Revelations, and it, it was awesome. Uh, it's kind of less awesome when you play it, but... Yeah, that's really the only noteworthy part, so if there's anything else to explain or point out, I will do so. Otherwise, enjoy!
şey yanlış yaptın ahmak. Baştan başla. Subtle approach. <sighs> See, sorry for the delay. something, don't you? You know what's out there. I have a hunch. Yes. Come on, Bill. You never do anything halfway. What do you think we'll find? If we're lucky, another prize. If we're very lucky, something that'll end this miserable war. You're talking over my head, mate. Listen, Sean, I have no idea what we're gonna find. But I do know that whatever it is, the Templars can't have it. Do you regret anything, Desmond? Like what? Running away? Leaving your parents behind, finding a shit job and pretending to be productive? What's it like spending your whole life avoiding hard decisions? Come on. Sure, you're an assassin. But it wasn't your choice. Do you have a point? I want to know. If you regret anything. Sure. I wish I'd been more patient with my parents. I wish I'd listened. And Lucy. Maybe things could have been different if I'd... I'm not sure. Thank you. For what? For making sense. Sean, you feeling okay? Sure, yeah, yeah, of course. No, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're assassins, after all, aren't we, eh? Why should we be surprised if one of us dies every now and again? Every death is a tragedy to somebody somewhere. What I want to know is... Is Desmond worth all this trouble? You know, what, what is he? Is he the, the chosen one? Is that it? Little Jimmy special? Some bollocks like that? I'm afraid not. But what he has is rare. His genes contain high concentrations of first civilization DNA. Only about one in ten million are so lucky. Ah, oh, the bleeding effect. Is that part of it? I believe so. I wish I could say we knew about his gift earlier. But it was the Templars who realized this. And they found him first. left Constantinople and set sail for the interior of Anatolia, to a region called Cappadocia, where Manuel is training his soldiers. If I am lucky, I will not be alone, for there may be Ottoman spies in the area waiting to strike. But, as ever, I put stock only in myself, and hold the memory of dear Sophia close to my heart. Claudia, you would laugh to hear the racing thoughts of your brother now. I have come to admire Sophia with more affection than I thought possible. After the death of Christina, something withered in me. But that feeling, that capacity for love, has returned. I adore Sophia, but dare not drag her into this life of mine. 
Not without fear of hurting her, or driving her away. of an army here, and no signs of Tarek's men. Heyo? Been about six minutes. Did you miss me? So this is a kind of cool change of pace for the game. Not that it's really that much of a change of pace, but it's different. The It looks different from the rest of the game, at least to me. I, I might be going crazy, but... Uh, it's a cool little mini city section thing. It's alright, I like it. But, uh, I'm gonna keep quiet for just a few seconds more. Welcome to Cappadocia. It has a gigantic, sorta not statue thing in the middle. So, this is kind of like a slave city. If you look, pay attention closely, you'll actually see and hear a bunch of slave work going on. And also guards magically dying from a very silent object, not man. So, the first thing this game makes you do is actually climb to the very top of that not statue. And it's kind of a cool introduction to the entire place. I mean, it gives you even better view than what you had uh, in that little intro bit. I don't know how often I've used the crossbow, but there it is. Crossbow is a key item in Assassin's Creed 2 and uh, Brotherhood. So, gotta use it some more. But, uh, as I said with the stuff that was used as preview gameplay or teaser gameplay, th this is kind of, sort of, straightforward. There's not much to say about it. It's one of those sit back and enjoy type of things. So I probably will not say all that much for the rest of this. Uh, it actually... Let me just put it this way. The payoff is great if you're invested in the story of this game. The payoff is very great, so...
Not so close, Adi Herif. Easy now. Tarek sent me. Only you? Why not more? I am enough. Where are your men? Captured by Byzantines over a week ago. I was dressed to look like a slave and managed to escape. But the others? Are you a capable fighter? I like to think so. Well, when you are certain, come find me. Of note, this banker right here and all the other shops are unlocked from the beginning of this area. This is not a place where you have to upgrade or unlock any shops. So you cannot make your bank maximum money any larger than if you have all 13... I think it's 13 banks in the main game. Of course, this is the main game, but the main area of the game. So... I just thought that was kind of neat that they give you a blacksmith, a doctor, a bank. These things are very handy. And actually, I'm going to go to a blacksmith right now because I have the money to do so. And unless I am corrected on the very next session, this is the best armor in the game. In Brotherhood, there is a special set of armor that looks way too heavy to be sneaky in. But I believe that is actually the best armor, unless there's a little side mission thing that gives you other armor. I don't remember that being a thing here in Revelations. I just know of the armor back in Brotherhood that you had to actually unlock via side missions. So... I don't see how you can be sneaky in plate, but... Whatever, you don't even get to see the armor until the end of this area. caught another of the Sultan's spies lurking about. A woman this time, disguised as a harlot of low birth. <laughs> Sending his harem girls now, eh? It seems the Sultan is running out of skilled fighters. Where did you take her? Inside. Into the prisons. But she won't last long. Not with Shakulu in charge. <laughs> How soon before my soldiers are trained to use those guns? A few weeks at most. Janissaries will know I have betrayed them by now. But do they have the resources for retribution? Doubtful. The Sultan's battle with Selim commands most of their attention. <laughs> ah! What the hell is that spell? Apologies, Manuel. Some of these Ottoman prisoners are so... fragile. <laughs> Shakuru, try to moderate your anger. I know the Sultan humiliated your people, but there is no need to spit on men who are beneath us. Mm. You, take the woman from the prison and bring her to the chapel. Shakuru, I don't have the key. Find it! Who has the key? You? I think Nicholas has it. He's on leave in the market. Christemu, I'd like to run that man through with a spear. Hey kids, wanna watch a magic trick? No damage taken. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all night.
So this little hint thing pops up, says locate the guard. You'd think it's those guys, right? Because those are guards, but no. No, these are the wrong guards. See, nothing's happening. It, 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 it usually do something if you highlight them for just long enough, but no, nothing was happening here. I even did it one more time with this guy. But then I was like, wait a minute. Uh... taken prisoner. Poor men. That Turkman renegade did this. Shah Kulu. I'll kill him! Wait! cooperate very well. I'm here to rescue my men, not make friends. Right there. That armor is too thick for bullets. I will have to get in close. Jonas, we have to help him. So this mission looks harder than it actually is. You're like, oh, oh, guards, oh, oh man. And you are kind of on a time limit. If you look to the left, you'll see that guy's health and targets killed. That guy's health is your time limit. I'm not exactly sure how many seconds it is before he, he done dead, but really, you don't want to take your time here. You kind of want to rush through it. And really, it's kind of convenient how this is design I mean look at this this is actually pretty quick I could have saved him with more health but I was like uh, wait a minute men who make a fetish out of murder deserve no pity <laughs> That little cutscene there is kind of creepy and a little weird and implies that that guy is like a zombie or something. I'm not sure what they're trying to get across, but he sure is a little threatening, a little frightening. But his health bar is no bigger than, say, any of the Janissaries, so... I mean, look, I just took out his spine. He's still standing. This guy... This guy... There, I just stabbed him three times. Can you walk? Evet. The rifles you brought, they should be destroyed. Most of them don't actually work. But the gunpowder is real. We could not fake that. Bene. Keep out of sight until you hear the explosions. Then, you run. Explosions? If you do that, all hell will break loose. You will panic the entire city. See, si, I am counting on it. And then what? Then I find Manuel Palea Logos. Not entirely sure what that multiplayer bonus is, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to touch on it. 
because, well, I don't like it, and there's no reason to. Uh, also, I'd be, like, skipping ahead right about now, but I decided to leave this combat in, because some weird things happen during it, and I, like that, what, I don't even, what? Look, look at this stomp, what is he stomping on? And that guy just magically died. Or how about, uh, not this guy, but this guy right here I'm about to nail. Watch. He just dies! I didn't even touch him and he dies! <laughs> uh, the combat can be really unintentionally hilarious sometimes. Anyone see the killer? <laughs> we are the ones who do the killing around here. What happened? Is this your well, doing? Once we did you! Anyone see the killer? Call. So this mission's full sync objective, the optional objective, is do not take a single point of damage. Now because of this, I've done this mission a few times. You're seeing my last, like, okay, this is it. If, this, if it doesn't happen this time, whatever. Attempt. And at first it seems like, well, this is kind of obvious. It's just like, don't fall. You'll see. This section is a lot harder than it looks. How, you know how earlier I just said that there's a mission where it's easier than it looks? Yeah, this is the opposite of that. So this is where you get to see how I attempt it. I'm, I feel as if I'm doing this entire thing wrong, but this is what worked for me. Crossbow, over and over and over crossbow. Just keep crossbowing, keep backing away, keep crossbowing. You'll stagger them long enough to reload and then fire again. This is unfortunately how I did this. This is the only way I could see that it worked. I do not know of any other way. You could use even throwing knives, but it's kind of the same gag. That, and you have to stand still to throw them. So I'd assume the same thing kind of happens, but you get hit. So... This section only sucks if you're going for the optional objective. I should make that a little more clear. The optional objective, if you're trying to full sync this, so you unlock more goodies at some point down the road, it sucks to do it. Just because it's take no damage, and unless you have millions of bombs, which you cannot carry all of them, uh, this section sucks. But, if you're just doing the mission and you don't care for the optional objective, you can blow through this. Or if you're perfect at the combat, of which I am not, unfortunately. Because it seems that even when I 
think I'm doing good, I get hit somehow. It's almost like a luck thing. So, uh... Now we got the boom boom that makes fire. These guys... are... <laughs> I hate these guys the most. This is what ruined one of my attempts at this. But I knife him instead of anything else. And his... dead... well, now dead body was blocking me. Of course, thank God that the guys without the armor don't take three hits. So, of course, he goes out first. But it's th these dudes with these two-handed axes or spears or pole arms or whatever you want to call them. Which way did he go? That guy just said, which way did he go? But I cut him off with a bolt. Through his neck, assumably. So. Yeah, I should make that clear. The optional objective sucks. Which, of course, I feel motivated or compelled to complete them. So you think I made it, right? No, wrong. The game would not allow me to lock onto the other guys, so I, Yeah, you no, know what? Go. Screw it. It's stabby time. I'm tired of the crossbow. Let's kill all... What? Five, six, seven of you? Yeah. Get everyone out of the way. No, no. I have to counter you. Big guy, and hey, look. I teleport... What am I doing? I teleported and then things happened. So yeah, I got ruined by the same guy I said died in one crossbow bolt. Yep. Yep. I think that was actually the last enemy, too. Or last set of enemies. Yep. Oh well, full things don't really matter. Like I said, they unlock some kind of maybe goodies later down the road, maybe. So, they're not essential to, say, this playthrough. Sabotage, Manuel. You need to take cover. Get out of my way. Citizens, soldiers, compose yourselves. Do not give in to fear. We are the true shepherds of Constantinopolis. We are the lords of this land. We are Byzantines. Corio, stand fast. Do not let anyone break it. Oh, Skata. Stop that man! Shut him down! Oh, yay. Look, it's my favorite full sync objective again. Except this time, we're chasing someone. I'm not going to say anything further about this, but... This is pretty cool what happens. Nothing gets... Oh god, this is a poor decision on my part. Oh god! Oh. Stop and think for a moment. Think about the lives you have disrupted. The energy you have sown here. So hey, you thought that was cool what I just did? How about this? Whoop! Oh, nope, going this way. And... We never have to worry about taking damage from this point on. Ain't that awesome? You... 
You take advantage of a poor and displaced people, using us to further your own vain quest. But we fight for dignity, assassin. We fight to restore peace to this troubled land. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. Because power begets peace, Flaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a fell hand to lift them up and keep them in line. There he is. The monster I came to kill. So I'm pretty sure this fight is supposed to be really long and awesome, but... Yeah... Ooh. I should have been Constantine's successor. He had so many plans. Your dream dies with you, Manuel. Your empire is gone. Ah. But I am not the only one with this vision, assassin. The dream of our order is universal. What am I, Byzantine? These are only labels. Costumes and facades. We need these trappings. All Templars are part of the same family. Enough prattling. I am here for the Masyaf key. Then take it. Take it. And seek your fortune. See if you get within 100 leagues of that library before one of us finishes you off. Poor Manuel, last of the Paleologi. I should not have put him in charge of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man, impossible to keep in line. Disappoint me, Ahmed. Why are the Templars? Because I am tired of all of these pointless blood feuds that pit father against son, brother against brother. To achieve true peace, mankind must think and move as one body with one master mind. The secrets in the Grand Temple will give us just that. And Altair will lead us there. Delusions. Altair's secrets are not for you. I am not interested in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Masyaf keys. Keys? Are there more than this one? So I have heard. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Sofia Sarto. Is that her name? She knows nothing. Leave her be. We shall see. I will kill you if you touch her. I know you'll try.
So remember that optional objective for the full sync that said do not lose more than half your health? Well, I thought this last one would be me in the clear and I'd, you know, full sync it. Uh, I was wrong. What I should have done, and if you're watching this as a walkthrough, I hope you're not. Uh, do not fight those guys in the beginning. Just run it. Just run it, because you're going to lose your health. So I know I'm going to be an ultimate buzzkill of this, but as I mentioned before, I like putting these Altair slash Masyaf keys into their own little video thing. So I'm going to say I lied. This is not the last part in the session. I'm going to split Altair's bit into the next video. I promise that is what it will be. Okay? I promise. So I'll see you then.